Well, hi, I'm Kevin Kennedy, and I'm back with you, and I'm talking about some of the ideas in my very first book that published and went nationally and internationally, How to Make Money in the Tennessee Walking Horse Business. You know, one of the theories in this book is keep going and keep growing. Little did I know that when I published this book, it would open doors. They always do. You never know what kind of doors will be open if you will try. So uh, I later represented the Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors Association, and they knew of me through my work, and it's opened lots and lots of doors. I never really took marketing in school, but I became fascinated with it, and it's helped me in all of my businesses. You know, one of the chapters in this book, should I incorporate my horse farm or not? And I've had all kinds of businesses, LLCs, corporations, Cs, and S, and uh, so many great ideas. One of the other ideas that was incorporated in here was have fun, have promotions, enjoy your work, and that was always wonderful. Advertising has always been a big part of my life. And even now, what is motivating me to share this? I love to give these great ideas. There's nothing that makes me happier than others achieving the American dream, success. And so writing books, I always encourage it. You know, I've had it said over the years, well, Kevin, I don't have the money to publish a book, nor did I. And others say, well, I really don't have the time to write a book, nor did I. Well, then how did you do it? One of the things when I would go and uh, drive to Nashville, I would take a little tape recorder. Other people didn't know this. I created, and I would just start talking, and I put my ideas down, and then, of course, I always had a team help me with the publication of my books. I had editors and writers and transcribers, and we went to work, and I loved advertising. I was always creative. And this is one of the fascinating things. I call it SOS, the 10 Steps to Success. Now, you'll see lots and lots of books over my lifetime. So these are the seven steps to success, and these are the steps to success. Well, when I wrote this book, I had not seen these other men's work. But, so let's just look at them really briefly. This is what came out. Number one, motivate yourself. I really believe God revealed these ideas to me. In every one of Kevin Kennedy's published books, they all carry the 10 steps to success because I believe in them and they are great. And you, you don't have to have someone prod you to get up and write. And I'll say this, write it. It will open doors for you. If you say, I can't do it, I can't do it. You know, Henry Ford is the man that said, if you come back and you say, I can't do it or I can do it, you're already right. So I say pursue it. Get your manuscripts ready, and uh, you'll see your day come. Be a leader. We can always be a follower, but there's times that you've got to step out and be a leader. You feel the responsibility. Don't be scared to invest. You know, when I went started, of course, we had no resources, and that's a nice way to say you had no money. But if you keep trying and you keep learning, you can get bank loans and you can start small and grow big. And that's exactly what I did. Using your time wisely. As a young man, I was aware of it. As a mature man, I'm very aware of it. That's why I'm doing these videos, to make my time and my message real to a lot of people. I want you to believe in number five that you can make a difference. You'll make a difference in your life, in your community, in your church. Number six was set goals and make priorities. I believe in setting goals. There is no doubt you should have a goals program, personal, business, financial, and then make the priorities. What do I have to do today? Number seven, be honest in your dealings. One of the things everybody will learn, what kind of man is he? I hope that you'll be honest in your dealings. Number eight, listen to others and always make your own decisions. As a lawyer, I do that. I have many lawyers. I probably have more experience than the lawyers that work for me, but I love to hear their opinions. Constantly reevaluate your situation. Where are we today? Do we have two horses? Through this book, I got up to 108 horses. My goal was 100. I broke the goal. I've been big on goals my whole life. Set the goal and break the goal. And I've done it in many businesses. And the last one, pray and trust the Lord. Number 10, that's the most important one. Lord, give me the wisdom. Lord, show me. You'll hear me pray sometimes. Lord, if you don't want me to do it, then stop me. And when I go to hire people in my companies, bring me the right people. 
let's use your wisdom. And, uh, you know, one of the great things about uh, praying and trust the Lord, there's a part of this world that's supernatural you'll never be able to explain. How some people's business explode and you get ideas that were very creative. Well, I hope that you'll enjoy this book. Read it cover to cover. There's some great ideas. I know it'll help your life. God bless you, and I'm Kevin Kennedy.